Welcome to Easy Mail Express, where automation happens, as you will see in this video. First thing to look for is the machining coordinate system. Here, there is no relationship to the part. We have a wizard to help with that, called World On Model. You can choose one of nine standard locations. Our tool touch-off will be the top middle. We'll use an 8x8 plate for our stock. To machine a bulk of the material, we will use a pocket operation. Select your part. Now add your stock. We have a tool library, but you can turn it up a notch and program on the fly. High speed machining will be our preferred tool path and will leave a 25 thousandths finish allowance for cleanup. Rather than risk starting inside the material, we'll machine from the outside in. Learning what is automated and what is not takes no time at all. You can leave these fields at zero. Leave the operation window open as you test your toolpath in version 2026. Verify, simulate, and edit in one place. If you're machining the outside profile, no surface selection is necessary. Set the stock allowance to zero and machine to size. Let's hone in on the start of our toolpath. Here we are feeding down on the wall. Let's check lead in and lead out. And for fine tuning, just click change. With through pockets, just click their vertical walls. Now, next to the tool diameter, click this button. A quarter inch cutter will fit overall. But for now, we'll use an oversized tool. As you see, the larger tool left material. Let's grab that quarter inch. We are remachining pocket 2. The smaller tool picked up where the half inch left off. Don't feel comfortable machining at full depth? Add a Z step. Let's finish the smaller pockets that are not through. Select the bottom face, and those pockets at the same depth are automatically included in the operation. The depth seems a little steep, so we'll approach it with a plunge to relieve the chips and make better use of the cutter. So how do we know that we completed the job successfully? We'll use our version of Part Compare. Everything green is cut to size. For show, let's deactivate one of the operations. Red signifies stock. If you want to change the cutter size of the prior operation, just double click the wall and up pops the editor for the larger tool. For the final step, post your G-code. We have a vast library of machines we support. Here is a sample program ready for the machine. Thank you for watching.